Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are rock and roll supergroup The Struts and you are watching Ambi TV. Woo! Woo! A music blog. Woo! Yeah? Music Woo! blog. Fuck. Ambi. Ah. Shit cunt bollocks. It's Alicia from Ambien. I would like to welcome you to our interview with the lovely guys from the Struts. Hello. 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 How, How are you guys are you? doing? Good, thank you. Very warm. It's very warm. How are you? I'm awesome. So excited to be catching up today. Indeed. We actually caught your set earlier at Way Home and it was just awesome. So cool singing along, seeing everyone around me singing along. So how are you feeling today about the show and just about everything going on right now? I think it was, it was good. It was somewhat, you know, festivals can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. Uh, you know, because it, a lot of people sometimes aren't there to see you. Um, but we were gifted with a very generous audience today, which was fantastic. But the only thing that was fighting against us was the, the beaming sunlight. Yes. Um, which, uh, yeah, I, I thought I was going to get sunstroke yeah, on Yeah, you stage. said that when you're performing. You're like, oh, I, I feel bad. <laughs> I've made a condition. I've already spoke to the festival organizer. And uh, he said, y you're not going to go on any, any earlier than 5 p.m. next time. So okay. when the sun's down. The camping at Way Home is fabulous. I was wondering for you guys, have you camped at festivals before? Are you fans of it? Do you not like it? Yeah. We, we have. We have. You have. We went, yeah, Leeds Festival about, was it three, four years ago? 2013. And in classic British festival tradition, there was a lot of rain. And uh, we actually, Gethin and I shared a little pop-up tent. And we thought it would be a good idea to take a duvet. And within probably two hours of being there, it flooded completely. I had a soggy duvet and <laughs> didn't have the most comfortable weekend of my life. But we got wrecked every day. <laughs> that we, makes up for it. It was it was really bad. It was you know there was so much bad behaviour. It was quite legendary actually. How we survived it, <laughs> I really don't know. The moment, the best part of a festival is when you're in the van or in your car on the way home <laughs> and you've got that feeling that you've got the uh, it's raining outside because it's in England you know you've got the heating on in your car and you're like I've made it all I've got to do now <laughs> is just drive two hours down the motorway and I'm going to spend the next day in a bath yeah <laughs> and that's it that's the best feeling I kind of like the afternoon when you're just on a really nice level and the sun's out because it did come out eventually but we Indeed. didn't bring any wellies so it was just like mud everywhere yeah that's always fun to walk through yeah it was fun <laughs> we are now on the dirty sexy summer tour so i have to ask what has been the sexiest moment of this tour so well, sweatiest <laughs> we can say the sweatiest <laughs> okay because it's been a very sweaty dirty tour. sweaty dirty summer. sweaty tour yeah, yeah. um <laughs> it's been a lot of sexy moments you know Every time I, I, I sort of like look back at Geth, that's that's a highlight for me. Seeing him work away at that kit like a like a plumber with his shirt off in the midday <laughs> sun, you know. Nothing sexier than that. <laughs> I don't know, actually Geth would Geth probably getting a lot of the most sexiest moments. Geth gets all of our asses. I do, I all I can see I look at three really hot asses up front of the stage and yeah. you know, it makes me Makes me want to work through, which we're playing <laughs> three hours sometimes. Bum inspiration. Bum inspiration. Bum inspiration. <laughs> Aspirations. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> very nice. Oh, oh, why did we think of that? <laughs> Let's just talk music. Everybody wants is now out. We were briefly discussing that yes. before the interview. So, what's been the coolest thing that happened since you unleashed this awesome record with your fans? Ooh. It's been great. Like to have yeah. our body of work out there you know I think we've we've seen it now on the the live shows people are coming even today you know um, we've just dropped our, our new single called uh, put your money on me and uh, people already know the words to it and it's only just starting to be played uh, on, on the radio so it, yeah it's really exciting times we briefly touched on this in our last interview about how you guys just love pretty much everything about the 70s. So what would you say is your favorite thing about that decade, if you had to choose one thing? I would say um, two things. You know, the, the fashion was, was incredible, but I think that was linked into the attitude of, like, excess. Yeah. You know, um, bands were being paid, like, monstrous amounts of cash and, you know, 
music was at a, at a level which no one had ever really seen before and um, I would say yeah I'd say it's style and excess I think uh, my my mum like grew up in the seventies, and in the UK we have a show like, called uh, Top of the Pops. Yeah, um, I used to where, watch that. Yeah, so like every week it would be uh, every art, all different artists that are in the charts and stuff. And she used to say how amazing it was just seeing all these different bands, and all of them just look like they're from like Mars or something. Um, like you know, like the Sweet Slay, T Rex, um, all those kind of bands. It was just fascinating to watch. And I think yeah, just I think the variety of artists from that decade is um, really quite incredible that's what I'd say you agree? I would definitely say I think the women of the 70s looked incredible <laughs> like you go around now and like a lot of the festival girls they have the big like drawn on eyebrows and it's just it just doesn't cut it for me I want to travel <laughs> back in time and go clubbing date some 70s ladies yeah you know Geff just wants to live at Studio, you know, uh, what was it, Studio 54 yeah. in New York City, you know, hanging out, shaking hips with watches. Mick Jagger and, you know. <laughs> shaking hips with Stevie Nicks. Ooh, toilet, like toilet troubles with Lou Reed. <laughs> <laughs> this is genius. We've got all sorts of puns coming today. Enjoying this. When I'm <laughs> Lou Reed, I really just got that. <laughs> <laughs> the Lou, yeah. Well, not only does the band have amazing music, but obviously your aesthetic is extremely cool. So I wanted to ask you guys, though, when you look back at fads that you used to go through or the clothing you used to wear, is there anything that you're kind of embarrassed about? <laughs> yeah. What would some of those things be? Oh, I used to wear, like, the baggiest jeans and, like, what's that make? I had those really big trainers. DC. Oh, yeah, DC. DC and I used to wear a DC <laughs> hat as well. And you, and you had this, um, when I... First oh, Matt as he used to wear this, uh, <laughs> you know, the Mario game with the, the green mushroom. Do you remember that yeah. shirt? Yeah, one up, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I love it that so much. much. You know what's I, funny? I get so much shit for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I, I think I wore this shirt last time I saw you in Toronto. I, I think, think it I might have been. Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but it's, I was going to say, it's weird that I think the most embarrassing stuff actually was probably before this band. Okay. I think you're probably fishing for more of a oh, two years ago in our stage outfits that we did were like horrendous but as you think back in the day we probably all collectively wore some you got some great photos from Facebook back in the day haven't you? There was a football player or soccer player I admired called Lee Trundle and I think half of the population in Wales had his awful haircut of like <laughs> blonde fringe and a bit of a mullet I actually little confession I my, got my friends to dye my pubes blonde for a joke once <laughs> to match my hair yeah no, did anyone been. in the band know that? no, no. 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 Gav's always full of these I, strange I, you know, stories. I come out with these things. That's um, disgusting. So that, that actually looked really cool, and I'm thinking of getting that look back. Are but you? the hair was awful. <laughs> I've always looked great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very modest. <laughs> I just want to run through a little quick fire round with the four of you. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, this is good. Oh, it's going to be good. So the first one being, what are some band tees you have that you can't get rid of? I don't uh, know, really. I had, this, I had this Doors one that I wore for ages and ages and ages. Um, I mean, not really a band t-shirt, but one of my prized possessions is my Jurassic Park t-shirt, which is, you know, pretty much is in every single studio session that we, we seem mm -hmm. to go to. True. It that stings. Uh, it doesn't sting, I keep it quite clean actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I've just got this, it's not a band t-shirt either, but I've just got this like ragged, white, well it was white t-shirt <laughs> and it's just like disgusting it's got co it's covered in like fag burn holes all over it and like i still got it it's still on top of me now and i've had it for like seven years cigarette burn so yeah cigarette burn. for the record I, yes. <laughs> I stole a um we played a gig in scotland i stole an eggy pop shirt from the drummer that was playing like after us I, he probably another confession arrest me you know. <laughs> but um i wore that for a uh for, I actually wore that at the weekend of debauchery in Leeds sure. and I think I left it there <laughs> but um, R.I.P. R.I.P. shirt yeah. <laughs> There's actually a fantastic picture of Gethlin wearing, wearing a strawberry onesie Oh, you have to dig festival. that up Yeah, you've had some real outfits actually yeah. I'm I mean, I'm, I'm kind of the David Bowie of the group um, <laughs> obviously <laughs> Well, just 
to wrap things up today. Is there anything you want to say to the Struts fans viewing? Any final parting words? Oh, have we got no more quickfire ones? Unfortunately not. I was given the wrap-up sign. Uh, I know. Just give us one quickfire. We'll say we love you, the fans. We yeah, love we you love very fans. much, but we want one more quickfire. One more quickfire? Right, These so guys will understand. The last movie you watched that you really enjoyed. Last movie? Yeah. Uh, Fundamentals of Caring with Paul Rudd, because Paul Rudd is my boy. Your boy? Yeah. Not, he didn't give birth to Paul Rudd. He didn't, like, doesn't mean my boy literally. <laughs> uh, he does look like my dad, though, meant. actually. Paul Rudd does look a bit like my dad. I watched a fantastic film on the plane called The Mermaid. Okay. Which is like a Chinese film. And uh, I thought it was going to be awful, and then I was, I was glued to the TV. Well, I said the TV. The, he- the, the, the thing, little the headrest, four by four headrest in front the headrest on the plane. But yeah, go check it out. The mermaid. It's mermaid. really, it's, Crap, it's groundbreaking. Groundbreaking I watched, films. I the spotlight. The spotlight. Uh, I agree okay. with that. Film. That's heavy. I'll agree yeah. with that. That was a brilliant film. All right. Well, now I think it's time to wrap now it up. Now it's time. Just thank you so much, guys, for catching up. We thank appreciate it. Thank you so much it. for having me. Yeah. Yeah, it's my it. pleasure. See you next time. And remember to everyone viewing, visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. Woo! Music Woo. Blog. Bye-bye. Yeah.